Here is a question from 2018's exam paper. As you can see, we have been provided with an invention, detail or disclosure which relates to an apparatus and method for collecting liquids. And we are asked to prepare a patent application for this invention based on the information provided in the disclosure. From what we learned in our previous slides, we know that when we have to prepare a patent application, we need to provide relevant details, appropriate details for the sections of the patent application. You know what is the best part about it? The best part is the entire detail, word to word, is already available in the question that is given to you. It's like an open book exam. What you have to do is you have to hunt for the details and copy paste into the sections that you would want to fill up. Before we go ahead with that exercise, I would urge you to pause the video, go over the invention, spend few minutes understanding, underlining the details provided in the disclosure. I will provide a link to the PDF. If not, you can go to the Indian Patents Office website and access the 2018 examination paper. Welcome back. Assuming you have gone over the details and have prepared the mind map for the relevancy of information to a particular section of the patent application. Let's start with the title. Now the title has to be the indicative of the subject matter of the invention. Fortunately, we are able to see that right in the first line, which is apparatus and method for collecting liquids. If you would want to go a little more specific, you can even use this. Apparatus and method for collecting unused ink. Both of these should work for you. Moving on, we need to provide the field of the invention. Now, as we know, the field of the invention is a general statement which indicates the subject matter to which the invention relates. Usually it starts with the invention generally relates to you provide the subject matter and more specifically or more particularly the invention relates to the area of application or problem that you are solving. Fortunately, again, check this, the first two lines. It says the invention relates to apparatus and method for collecting liquids and in particular to liquid collection apparatus and methods of the type employed in printing devices to collect unused ink. This becomes your field of the invention. Moving on to the background of the invention. Now the purpose of the background is to provide what is the current status of the technology, what are the solutions which are provided by the technology and what are the problems which are still unresolved by the solutions which are around us. We do this to build a case for our invention. Going back to this question, it says traditional liquid collection. See, here they started talking about the current technologies which are there. So if you go over these lines, you would see that they talk about problem statements. They talk about further problem statements in the field of our invention. And then we build the case for our invention. Here it says the present invention is directed towards the provision of a liquid collection apparatus which collects liquid without collecting air trapped therein. So here we can say this is the, this is the background that we have identified and we end the background by saying that there is therefore a need for an invention for the purpose that we have identified here. Right? So at this stage, your background section is also completed. Moving on to the next section, which is the summary of the invention. Summary of the invention, the way you need to identify this is to see what paragraphs in the question are talking straightforward about the invention, about the apparatus, about the method without going into too much of implementation details, basically not dimensional details, not component details, but then 
what all things are provided to achieve a purpose or what all method steps are provided to go to the end objective. Going to the question, here it starts with this. According to the present invention, there is provided a liquid collection apparatus comprising means for collecting liquid, liquid conduit, means for transferring. Here everywhere they are talking about the invention itself. From here, they are talking about, they are summarizing the invention as such basically. I would say, till because method is also provided, right? So I would say till this point, where they begin talking about the figure before that, I think till this point, this entire portion can be used as the summary of the invention where they have quickly gone over everything relevant to the invention in terms of what all the com components are there, how are they connected to each other and how do they work with each other. Right? If you want to read it, please again pause the video and read these two paragraphs to understand how this is considered as a summary of the invention. Now once we have provided the summary of the invention, we have to go and talk about the implementation of the invention. We start by providing brief description of the drawings or the diagrams. Here in this case, we are provided with one diagram. This is the diagram that has been provided for describing the invention. Now, where is the description of this diagram? See, it says figure one. Figure one shows a schematic diagram of a liquid collection apparatus according to the present invention. So this is nothing but your brief description of the diagram. This is one heading actually. If there was another figure, you would have done the same thing, figure two, figure three, like that, without going too much detail into it. You just copy paste this and use it as it is. Now this referring to figure one is nothing but, this is where you start with the detailed description of the invention. Now there is one template line that you should be using, which goes like this. The present invention will now be described in detail with reference to accompanying drawings and claims. And then you start with this. Again, figure one shows a schematic diagram of a liquid collection apparatus according to the present invention. And you copy this line referring to figure one. From here on, you start copy pasting everything from here. Because see, when you see the numbers here, conduit two, conduit means one means three, all these numbers are there in the diagram itself, right? So idea is to use all this information to describe the figure one. At times you may find that there is a little discrepancy in terms of the flow of the sentence. So just to take care of those, you may want to edit a bit, moving one paragraph or moving one sentence before the other sentence so that a flow or a story is maintained as it is, right? So till this point, till the end, I would say you have to, you have to take it as it is, as your detailed description of the invention. Now comes the most important part, drafting the claims of the invention. Now, what are the claims? Claims actually provide the scope of the invention. This is where we are trying to describe our apparatus, our method, by providing details about the novel steps or the essential steps or the new things that we have invented. So moving on, how do we identify what would be the structure or what would be our claim? So a shortcut is to go back to the section from where you pick the summary of the invention. In our case, here is where we had identified the summary of the invention. So before starting the claim, we write I, V, claim as the first line. After that, we provide with the exact claim. For this invention, this would be the preamble, a liquid collection apparatus. Comprising would be your transitional phase. Here they have provided you with the body, means for collecting liquid, 
In next line, you would have liquid conduit means for transferring liquid from the liquid collection means. In the next line, you would have porous liquid absorption means, position between the liquid collection means and the liquid conduit. Remember this antecedent basis, the and the, because we have already introduced them in the previous elements. And another line, pump means for pumping liquid from the liquid conduit. Now here they have provided with you additional information with regards to the pump means. How? So for such information, the reason, the way you need to use this is wherein the pump means generating a pressure in liquid in the conduit that is sufficient to draw liquid through liquid collection means, but is insufficient to draw a gas liquid surface through the liquid absorption means. At this stage, we are able to attain the objective of the invention because we are not capturing the gas or the air. That was the problem statement, right? We don't need to worry about this because the pressure generated by the pump means not sufficient to draw. We don't need to. So, at, so here, from here to here is your independent claim one. Everything is provided there. What all you need to do is you need to provide that into multiple lines so that a preamble is visible, a transitional phase is visible and body of the invention or the claim is visible. Now at this stage, you can also work on the dependent claims. Wherever you think that any element that you introduced in the independent claim is provided with more details in the disclosure, these more details or specific details could form part of a dependent claim. So look for the elements that you have in your independent claim and see if you can provide more specific details about those elements. Liquid absorption means having pore, pores of a diameter of 1 micron or less. The pore diameters may be in the range of 0.2 to 1 micron. All these are provided. Similarly, the liquid collecting means may be arranged so that the surface of the liquid absorption means is not in direct contact. So this is again another dependent claim. The format is provided here on your right hand side. As you work on the claims, you should see what different categories of claim can you work on. So we worked on an apparatus claim. You can also work on a method claim because method is also provided here. A method for collecting liquid. The method comprising the steps of collecting liquid and liquid collection means and drawing the liquid through a porous liquid absorption means at a pressure level which ensures liquid flow through the liquid. So this becomes your method claim also. So another category of the claim that you can identify. So with this we are done with drafting the claims for our invention. Now we move to the last section of our invention which is the abstract. Now the easiest way to write abstract is go back to the section which provided you the summary of the invention, pick the same details but restrict it to only the broadest of the details and limit it to 150 words. To give you an example, uh, here is where we had identified the summary section. So I will start from here. According to the present invention, there is provided a liquid collection apparatus comprising from here I will go and maybe I'll stop here that, that would give good enough uh, detail about the invention. This can be my abstract of the invention. So with this we are done drafting our patent application. Remember for the scope of the examination they are only looking at you to provide relevant details to the relevant sections based on the information provided to you. With this, let's move on to the next question.